What are dual CAR T cells? What happens with dual CAR T is that the T cell is engineered to recognize two different proteins on the surface of the myeloma cell. And by doing that, it reduces the risk of developing resistance. Uh, there are no commercially available products that will do that, but the ability to engineer two recognition sites increases the likelihood that the re-engineered white blood cell will effectively kill the myeloma cell. So right now, uh, the CAR-T are single antigen target. That means they are targeting a one particular antigen. And uh, dual target means you are targeting the two different antigens. So for example, the most common antigen that we target right now is uh, BCMA. And, uh, but we know that that is not enough. That means patients relapse even after getting best response and continue to maintain the response for a long time, they still relapse after. That means there is no cure yet. And uh, not everybody also responds to BCMA targeted antigen. So there is a interest and there is a rationale for targeting other antigens in addition to the BCMA. So, so, in, so for example, you are targeting the BCMA plus other antigen, let's say CD38 or CD19 or SLAMF7. So if you are targeting the two different antigens, that is called dual targeted CAR-T. Right now, uh, we have a very early clinical data on the dual targeted CAR-T. For example, uh, two years ago, and there was an ass abstract coming from China. They targeted BCMA and CD19. Uh, similarly, there was a data from University of Pennsylvania that showed uh, uh, some activity of the dual target. Uh, they are the targeted BCMA and CD19. And there is a clinical trial, I think, undergoing right now targeting BCMA and SLAM F7. We need to see how those compare with the single target CAR T, um, you know, um, in the current setting. Right now, most of our studies have looked at CAR T's where we take your your T cells, we engineer again a t uh, basically a receptor on them that goes after one target, so BCMA. Well, we can put multiple different targets in one cell. So a dual B a dual CAR T or a dual target CAR T is going after two different proteins. So express on the cancer cell. So there is some published data, for example, looking at CD19 and BCMA as a dual target that haven't looked super promising. But then there are, again, another, a number of additional targets that are earlier in development, but we're looking at like something called SLAMF7, CD38. Um, there's a number of these in addition to those. So dual CAR T's um, refers to CAR T cells that have not only one, but two CAR receptors and target two epit epitopes on the myeloma cells or any tumor cells. And there are currently no, no approved CARs that are doing that, but this is um, something that is uh, being investigated preclinically. And I think there may also be some early clinical trials um, that are not reported yet. And um, the advantage is that you not only target one surface um, antigen on the cell, but target two. And this may um, be more potent than just targeting one. And the other is immune escape. So we know from BCMA CAR T cells and CD19 CAR T cells that they sometimes lose their um, epitope, the CD19 target on the cell or the BCMA, and this would uh, result in resistance because the CAR-T cannot identify it anymore. But the chances are less likely if you have two um, epitopes that you are targeting because then the cell would need to lose both of them, right? So there may be an advantage, but I think that has to be shown in clinical trials. And the, I think the current, current ideas is having two cars in one a T cell, but the other approach having two different um, CAR T cells could also do, right? Can even combine CAR T cells with um, bites or any other drugs. So and it's also not a restriction why it should only be two. You could think about three, four, five, six. But however, the, the production and generation of these products may be even far more complex than the current ones. But clinical trials have to show whether this is really beneficial and whether it's feasible to produce these um, in high amounts. Are there trials using dual target? Yes, there are trials that are available that are looking at targets including BCMA plus CD38, BCMA plus CD138 uh, designed to destroy the myeloma cells at two different approach points. What are the advantages or disadvantages of dual target? So as I already mentioned, uh, the advantage is, uh, theoretical advantage is that if you are targeting two different antigens, which uh, then you probably would provide more effective killing. 
and then there's a single target. That is number one. Number two, if you are uh, using one target and then that target gets lost, uh, that is called antigen loss or antigen down regulation, tumor try to escape out of that, then you can capture or you can kill that tumor by targeting the other antigen uh, at the same time. So, you know, so that is one advantage, theoretical advantage. Again, as I said, we have to see how that is going to compare with the single target. Um, but that is uh, one of the reasons that we are targeting the two different antigens is because you want to prevent the antigen uh, loss mechanism by which the tumor relapses, number one. Number two, you want to pr provide a more effective killing or even more uh, efficient killing of the tumor cells by targeting two antigens at the same time. Now, the disadvantage, I would say, there is no additional disadvantage, you know, beyond what is already there in the engineering of the construct. If something is in the complexity of the engineering is needed to construct a dual target that might pertain to higher cost or higher complexity of manufacturing, but beyond that, there is no additional disadvantage. But if you are targeting some other targets, which could be expressed by some other cells as well, normal cells as well. For example, CD38 is a target that is expressed by a lot of hematopoietic cells, like red blood cells and other cells as well. So if you're targeting that, in addition to the another antigen, which is more specific to the cancer cells, in, in this case, the myeloma cells, then you could be seeing a lot of other overlapping toxicities that you don't want to see in that patient. So that could be one potential disadvantage. It really depends on what the second target is in terms of the disadvantages. So CD19, for example, is more ubiquitously or evenly expressed in a lot of different um, B cells. So what that can do then, if you're knocking down CD19, is you can really suppress the immune system. So that additional target yet depends on where else it's expressed. The advantage is, if, if you're targeting just BCMA and the cancer kind of outsmarts that, you have another target that the treatment is still going after. So you would expect less relapses or more, more, uh, more efficiency in terms of treating the cancer. But again, you have to weigh that with the side effects of it, an additional target and how that might affect the immune system, other organs, so on and so forth. The advantage would be if resistance is from the loss of one of those targets. Therefore, even if you lose one of the targets, there's another target that's still present that can, be, that can still leave the myeloma cell susceptible to killing from the CAR T cell. Does dual target use one CAR T with two receptors, or is it two different CAR T cells infused at the same time? When one say dual target, it is classically one type of T cell that binds onto more than one target. There has already been clinical trials to try to generate different groups of T cells that recognize different antigen and then mix them together. I think both are really legitimate choices. What is going to be easier down the road, particularly in thinking about how difficult it is to engineer all of the CAR-T products, perhaps with the need for one lentiviral vector only to generate ability of the T cells to bind both targets concurrently, that's probably going to be a little bit more efficient. The way you can target the two different antigens is there are different ways you can target. One is you can infuse a co-infusion of those two different CAR T. So each construct is targeting a single antigen, but you are giving the infusion one after the other one. Okay, so that is uh, has been shown. That has been done already in myeloma. Again, the data from China. They did CD BCMA targeted CAR T followed by the CD19. So that is called infusing co-infusion of the of the CAR T. Then in other cases, the engineering is done such that the CAR-T receptors are expressed or the antigen are expressed on the same receptor or the same, um, you know, the CAR receptor. So they could be a tandem CAR, means like one after the another one, or there is a bisestronic in the two different branches of the uh, receptor can act as an antibody um, for that um, tumor antigen. Both strategies of one CAR-T cell with two receptors versus two different types of CAR-T cell are both being explored right now.